Dungeons and Dragons, Honors Among Thieves. This is this week's episode. I'm Vinny. We're a little back, but yeah. Anna. Stick around, see what we think. But I'm charming. Welcome to the Song of the Screen Squad. Yep, this week we are talking about Dungeons and Dragons. But I'm charming. I'm not sincere. The the good Dungeons and Dragons movie that's out there, right? What? Not the Marlon Wayans one? Not the Marlon Wayans one that's trash, right? What? Trash, trash, trash. Uh, we're talking about. Which is weird because Marlon Wayans makes great movies. Yeah, The Senseless, yeah. The Sixth Man. Uh huh. A uh, Little Man? No, oh, that's with Sean. That's the Wayans brothers. You got to talk about the movies that only Marlon Wayans made. The, the, the only decent one that he has is, what is that? Requiem for a Dream? Pie? I don't know. That one movie with Jerry Leto. Where Naked? <laughs> the one on Netflix? The one on Netflix. Oh, that's yeah. right. He did one like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's, he's, what is he's that? A... It's it's like um it, like a Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, yep. Where he keeps mm-hmm. dying and reliving the same, the same Naked Day. Yeah. Yep, Marlon Wayne makes bangers. Right, banger movies. Uh, and the Academy Award goes to not Marlon Wayans. He was good in Air. He's in Air. Yeah, yeah. for like five minutes, relax. But so, it was good. Says so Chris Tucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, Chris Tucker was like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it was good too. I gotta watch. I gotta yeah. watch Air. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You gotta watch. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so uh, so Doctor on the shoe. Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves. This is another one of those movies that I say I did not know it was gonna be this good. Yeah, right. The, unexpected. The cast, the cast is uh, the 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 cast is uh, really good. It's a really good cast. Okay, look, you get Chris Pine, you get Michelle Rodriguez. That's Ozzy's favorite, by the way. Oh yeah, right. Chris you, Pine. You get Hugh Grant. Pine of right. Rain. Hugh Grant to do Hugh Grant things, right? In this movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. He he talks in this movie. And there's prostitutes in it. Oh no, that's a different movie. Uh, no, there's see, no movie about it. George Lopez is in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, so you get Hugh Grant, you get uh, you get the kidney. You get you get that girl. You get Sophia Lillis, the girl that was in it, right? In the first it it, cha- it chapter one. Um, That's where I've seen her, right? And then you get you get uh, Justice Smith, which is not related to Will Smith, right? He's not related. He's not. A, he's you not mean, a Smith. You mean you mean Detective Pikachu? Yeah, he's Detective Pikachu, right? Uh. Again, I think that what, what what makes this movie work is number one. That was the, a good movie too. The, the, the writing, oh yeah, the the writing is good, right? The writing is good. The story is really is is well done, and uh, it's 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 uh, it's just fun. It's a fun movie. Chris Pine is fun in it. Hugh Grant, you can tell he's enjoying being being a villain in this movie, right? You you could tell that he's Who? In, Hugh Grant. Yeah. Right. And he, in real life, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Allegedly, uh, you didn't see him in the uh, award show when he was being nasty to the interviewer for no uh, reason. It's, it's British. It's British humor, right? That's what they say. Whenever somebody's yeah, we'll whenever somebody's uh, from from England and they're jerks, that's just British humor, baby. Yeah, <laughs> they all to me sound like Austin Powers. Apparently, in my head, <clears throat> he's like uh, Ricky Gervais. All of a sudden, come on, he's gonna get a. That's yeah, so and that's the thing. That. He's like, if Ricky Gervais has the charm, let me just be a dick to everybody. Oh, right. That's uh, that's that's the best I could do with Hugh Grant. What was that? That was the best Hugh Grant I could come up with. You're like, yeah. Unless you're driving on the street. I spotted C, sir. Nope, that's even C. Now that's. Would you like to spot a dick? You should go to the doctor for that. I'll take to have a cream for that. No, mate. so so the like the story you you get you get uh was it is Ergen is it Ergen is that how you say it? You know these names are just insulting to me. Why? <laughs> it's like you're just making up sounds now. You shut your mouth. Ergen, Birkin, Blicken, Blitzen, Blumpkin. It's all his names. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, it's Christmas. Edgin, Davis. Edgin, Edgin. He plays Edgin. They even start space docking at some point. You get Edgin, you get Doric. Look, the whole adventure that they 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 have together. Like you get introduced to them, like Hugh Grant's character, uh, not Hugh Grant. Um, to Edgin, to Chris Pine and Holga's characters at the very beginning in prison, right? 
they're in prison. He's telling I mean, he's telling the that's story. Exactly where I, where I pictured it starting. Like he <laughs> he uh, explains kind of what led to them going to prison, and it kind of gives you the backstory of the movie. Look, they're like talking in front of a parole, like a parole, and it's and it's, it, it's fun. It's fun. the whole the whole the whole joke from the very beginning is just a lot of fun. It's it's and then when the movie that when the movie kicks off, with the adventure actually starts. You it's 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 a story of a father reuniting with his daughter, trying to reunite the family. That's ultimately what the movie is about. Find like yes, after after massive after after a loss, right? How you deal with that loss and how the the family you find. That's what the movie is about, and I really liked it. That was it was unexpected. The comedy in it, it was really was really good. It was well done. It was written by the people who by the the team that got they gave us uh, Spider Man Homecoming, right? That they wrote the Spider Man movies, uh, the Tom Holland Spider Mans. Mm. So the, the humor is good. They direct. They directed the movie. What was the other movie that those guys directed? Um, John and Francis Daly, which is uh, the guy. I don't know. Because John Daly was the guy. Is, is, if you remember, he's the guy from um, Freaks and Geeks. The kid from Freaks and Geeks. He was also on Bones. Which was he that was one? the FBI agent on Bones. The, was the curly hair one? That oh wait, the guy from Waiting. Yes, the guy from Waiting. Oh, ah. so cool. <laughs> nice. Okay. Right? See, it took me a while to get that. Yeah, he's he, another he, great movie. He he di- he directed. Hell yeah. He directed. Uh, he direct him and um, him and his his partner directed, wrote and directed this movie, Honor Among Thieves. And you can tell they took a lot of care and love because I guess they. The, you can tell that they they are in, they in the Dungeons and Dragons world. They know how like to build the lore and work on the story because. This really does feel like uh, it's a, you're playing the game. Yeah, it's a sort. It, it, it's like a story from the game, and it works really well. Mm-hmm. Now, I I was hoping to see a twenty sided dice. That was one thing they they kept they kept like um they kept, I was hoping at some point they, they were like, selling a lot of those as as product like promotional material like for toys and stuff, but it's it was never in the movie. But nonetheless, it was it's like but it's part of the yeah it's it's, yeah, a, it's, like it's part of the game it's, it's a but it's yeah. a lot it's a lot of fun and it's not one of those movies like the Lego movie that that all of a sudden this is happening and then there's another world outside this is yeah. this is a full on story told in this world and I would want to see more of it because it's really again I I'd want to see a sequel because there's just so much you can do with this so much you can do in this world especially the world that they built and it's coming because. Uh... This this succeeded. Yeah, it's it was a, it's really well done. Again, like and my money. Originally, I remember all mm-hmm. the like all the backlash was like, oh, this movie's gonna be trash yeah. and this that and the other. Yeah, because it's hard. It's hard. come on, it's you usually you, you, you can't you can't you know just take something that nerds love and just you know make a movie. <laughs> like I don't know, like I'm like oh my, we've seen what you did before. We saw yeah. the Martin Wayne's crap. Yeah, but I think just, I, I think that you, just reminds me of uh, like the Batman. The original Batman with uh, the Tim Burton one mm-hmm. with uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. You mean Adam West? Because everybody was like, "That's not Tim Burton," but okay. No, but he's the original Batman. No, we did original Batman In with Tim. In my Burton. eyes, yeah, but he's the original Tim Batman with Tim, Tim Burton. Burton. You dumb, yeah. bat, you dumb fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention instead of it's cutting been, pe- instead of cutting people off. Has been ten minutes. It's been thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm a stinky slong. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> Uh, but no, it, it's like I think with the the new the new crop of people that are making these types of movies, they they know the world, they know what like they they live it, they they like it, so they they're able to make a movie that's closer to to what people want to see. And I I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, I've never done any of that, but I liked this movie. I like I like the movies with creatures. I like the movies that use practical effects, not so much CGI. They I like the movies that have like again like. Give me, give but me this these, we like, a lot of Yeah, but this has a lot more practical effects too. A lot more creature yeah. creation. A lot more like they. You could tell they spent money in that stuff. And I mean, I don't know how they did it, but look, they, they made they made uh, Bradley Cooper. Your small. height, your height. Um, <laughs> so Into a raccoon. Yeah, no, but the, but you you have you you have you, <laughs> you have this uh, you, you have this you have this movie, and I, I love these sword sword and sorcerer movies, right? Willow, uh, I'll even I'll even throw in Your Highness, right? Because that's not it's not a horrible movie, but it's a, it's horrible. What are you talking about? Right? That's, oh, Conan, uh, the Beast, uh, Beastmaster. Is that what I can't believe I can't, I can't believe you said Your Beast Highness Master. was not horrible. It's not a horrible movie. It's it's I I like that whole universe. I like universes like that. I like those mm. types of movies. I like movies that have swords, wizards, monsters. 
Conan. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Those that's to me that the whole point of this movie is this movie is just a lot of fun. From the from beginning to end, Chris Pine really carries this movie, right? Even Michelle Rodriguez is like really good in this movie, right? There's no cars and she's she's the muscle, right? And that's the thing she's, about she's always good though. But this that's and that's the thing about this movie is that if like you can tell it, it played it, to her strengths. It, no, what it also played very you much. You know what? Like, she could, she should have played uh, the mother. And mother, yeah, she should yeah. have. Uh, she kind of played a mother in this one. Yeah, in this movie, but no, but it's like you That's could what tell I'm the way this movie, the way this movie was, the way this movie was made, and the way the characters are built is exactly like when you watch it. It's like okay, well, they are telling somebody is playing Dungeons and Dragons because everyone has a specific character trait, right? You have you have the thief. You have the warrior, you have the mage, you know, you have all these like the different you characters. You have a paladin who shows up and then Yes, the paladin, which in my opinion, he was dope. Right? Mr. Uh, he was, what's but, the show? I don't know. I don't it was know what Netflix show he's on. Too. Mm. It was. I know yeah. he I know I know he hosted SNL at one point. <clears throat> that's who all hasn't? that's all I know. The guy that I've never seen in anything hosted something hold hosted SNL. Um Bridgerton, there you go. I'm just uh, huh? season one, season one, Bridgerton. Bridgerton. <laughs> of course, you would know that. No, it just it just dawned on me. Also. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It just dawned on me, and he has his phone in front of him. It uh, just dawned on me. I don't, I didn't know this uh, answer, IMD. but I figured it out. I am the Bridgerton. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, yeah, but if you have not seen, I'm just grateful for the Dungeons original Dragons. content because. Uh, too much garbage out there right yeah now. You, that's, that's the one thing that yes this is like they're taking dungeon dragons it's a it's an ip but it's original it's a it's a cool original it's a cool story right like it's a it's a, again like i said it's a it's a family kind of story it's like from lost you gain a family but you have it in the world of dungeons and dragons you have mm -hmm. you have you have skeletons you have dead people you have monsters you have monsters you have like trolls. You have what well, is there a troll in this movie? Oh no, I was thinking Lord of the Rings. No, I don't think there's a troll in this movie. But there there's there's so much more that they can do with this there's movie. So, and they, and they don't the slow humor. Then. And that's the thing. They don't have to and then they don't have to continue the story with Chris Pine, right? They can do it with like another group now. In mm -hmm. this same yeah. universe. And that's that's kind of but what I think is cool. No, of course not, because you have to do it with Chris Pine and it's his team. It's Chris Pine. Right? It's Chris yeah. Pine. But it's a it's a good movie. You you you. I really did enjoy it. I re, I like. I was caught you know, by you, I was caught by surprised. Surprise. You know what was missing from this movie? Yeah, good Ryan Reynolds. No uh, no no no. We did not. No, that's something like no. We did not need Ryan Reynolds because Chris Pine already is very like not Ryan Reynolds -y to the extent of being Ryan Reynolds, but he's playing Chris Pine, right? He's he 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 figured out how to make a movie and be himself, right? And he's not a person that I don't want to see on the screen. Like I, I liked his his Captain Kirk, right? I he's like the star. Tell Being that to Gal, man, tell, you... tell the Gal, Gal Gadot, you know. Mm. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's so funny. You got caught. You got caught slipping. Uh, no, but I, I like he figured out like that like he can make these comedy movies, these movies, and play himself because that's what he's yeah, doing. And 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 see, and that's the thing is that you can enjoy him doing that. Because in most of the movies he doesn't do that. Right, he plays. Whereas Ryan parts Reynolds is the same in thing every in movie. everything. Now, in every, yeah. yeah, he's the same in everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is already hey, played if, out. If it works, it works. That's all. It matters. doesn't start. It only it, it only works in Deadpool. It doesn't work yeah. in all the other movies. Yeah. That's the thing. Like Free Guy was okay because he was still kind of playing with somebody else, right? He was. Like, what, what about uh, Hobbs and Shaw? He's not a star in that movie, and he's playing. He's and he's playing Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, and he even did it in, uh, in Ghosted. That Netflix in movie. Ghosted, in Ghosted, he did it. He did it in that Netflix movie with The Rock and Gal Gadot. Yeah, he uh. played. He, he played. He played. <laughs> he played. He played Ryan Reynolds in uh, Red Notice, right? <laughs> That's the movie. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking to. Who are you talking to? The, who would know this? A, a rock aficionado. That's right. Yeah, I know. We're part of the, he's, the, we're, he's we're, your Chi Chi Rodriguez. We're, we're part. We're part of a select fan fan fan, fan community called the Rock Hards. <laughs> that's that's how we uh, roll. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Now. Well, uh, he says, so you sus. You sus, bro. You sus, bro. There's diehards and they're Rock Hards. Yep. <laughs> we are Rock Hards. 
no, no, <laughs> not we use. Uh, but no, but I, I, that's that's the thing because Chris Pine. That's the thing about Chris Pine. Like this, he made this movie very enjoyable to watch. It was fun. It was fun, and like the chem- the chemistry he has with Michelle Rodriguez, with actually the whole team, even with, um, even with Hugh Grant. He, that's the other thing. Like like we always say that a movie is only as good as its villains, and you yeah. you like he, although he's not a like when you watch this movie, he's not. He's a, yes, he plays he plays a bad guy. He's not. He's a mastermind. He's not a menacing villain. He's a mastermind. Right. He's he's and it's it's and it's but it's well done and it's like you also like Hugh Grant's character in the movie. I don't I don't want I want to see more of Hugh Grant's character. He is funny. Like give him give him time to play a villain again, and I'm sure he could do well again. Hugh Grant is really is 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 I think I think an untapped potential in these types of movies. Right. Yeah, I liked him. I liked him in the, in that movie. Uh... Bit of technical difficulty, but we're right back. We're right back. So yeah, so we were just so Man of Uncle, yeah. Yeah, he uh, I, want, I want to see a uh, I want to see a sequel, but Well, that'll you know, never happen. That'll never Army happen. Or Hammer fucked it up. He eats with he eats people. Apparently. Allegedly. Alleg well allegedly. allegedly. Right. Um and I then all of a sudden he was selling condos. Weird. I thought the that was disputed. I thought I thought it was um I don't know. I don't know, right? But whatever. It was, it was only. In but tax, I, right? but I, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. I would. I would want to see a. Uh, you know, again, like I said, I think Hugh Grant warrants make putting him in villainous roles that I think because mm-hmm. I think he would do well in like this again, like in this type of environment. He he was a likable villain. He wasn't. He wasn't one of those people that I wanted to see like get get killed, right? And no one, if you like, by the end of this movie, like there's 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 resolution, but there's also opens there's an opening for like more. There's more in this universe, so much more you can explore. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you have not seen Honor Among Thieves, oh, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, it is available now to stream. You can purchase it. It's Fandango at home or whatever. Like if it's on Vudu or whatever or on Apple TV, you can buy Fandango. you can buy it. You can buy it. Uh, you can buy it and stream it. It's it's I it's a highly recommended movie. It's a lot of fun. It's an adventure. It's it's just so it's fun to watch. It's good. So I guess it's good. On that note, this has been Vinny. It's worth the money. Oh me. Anna. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.